Hey guys, what's up? It's Nerf the Ninja here, and I'm going to be doing another trial playthrough today. And another medium challenge Maximum Wolf, the third to last one of the medium challenges. So, trial details is he starts with uh, a great wolf, two ragged wolves, and two man mangy wolves. That is pretty tough because that great wolf will have. A huge attack because of the other wolves and the other wolves aren't aren't uh, too bad as well so once again I use the order energy deck and this is the last um, the last trial that I will be using this deck because I am I will use either just order and I'm, I'm playing a lot of online matches I'm kind of addicted to online matches right now and I am saving up to buy the the uh, the growth um, starting deck because I think that's a really awesome deck and I want to try it. I don't regret choosing order for the beginning, but growth just looks so awesome. So I got lucky with there with a with a um, burn, so I was able to take out one of those wolves. And this tr this challenge isn't that hard because you start with five uh, five resources, so I don't think it should be too hard. So, now I'm thinking about using the Thought Trap on the um, Great Wolf, just because it's 6 attacks, so I have to uh, not let that attack that soon. Just playing some units. This 5 energy starting is really is really nice. So the Resonant Helm, what it does is um, you put on a unit every time you play a spell or enchantment, that unit gets healed by 1. But I can't use anything else this turn, so... Actually, I can't accuse Vengeance Veil. I think that's what I end up doing. What Vengeance Veil does is when he is attacked but does not die, his um, countdown will go down by one. A nice little enchantment. I wouldn't actually use this in a really good deck, though. Alright. Plays a Ragged Wolf with haste. Okay, now, like, all his. All his uh, wolves are attacking besides this great wolf and the one he just played. So now I have a lava memorial. I could use that as a wall and something to boost my order. So I think I'll just stick that somewhere. Just to absorb one attack. So I think. So I just sacrificed the iron whip for uh, scrolls. And oh, I got another wall. So I'll be able to use the lava memorial to protect up there and a useless contraption to protect I guess I'm going to use it on the bottom what I should have done or no, yeah, I'm, I, I'm just using it there Bridge against that great wolf, a little bit of lag there didn't come up right away and now I'll just play the zealot um, behind that unit so he's a little protected so he's able to attack so now he's his turn so, speaking of uh, the growth I'm saving up for, I I really think that those the wolf using like a wolf deck is so powerful. I want to try it. I want to have. I already have a couple rallies without getting the growth. I've got a good like secondary cards like Ranger's Bane. I do have a bunch of good cards already for growth. So getting that starting deck would really help because I'd get all the kinsfolk guys and all that. So now I got incendiaries, but he doesn't have any um thing I could. He doesn't have any um uh structures. So it doesn't matter. I spark one of his wolves, which takes down one attack from um his great wolf, and that wolf was gonna attack anyway, so that's good. And my uh my skirmisher is gonna do three damage, so I'm gonna just kill one of the wolves. This makes my zealot uh vulnerable, though. I probably should have moved him down with him. Oh well. So he, I give us, I my um, my what's this called? What's it, what's the blue guy called? I just forgot what his name is. Um, zealot. My sin mark zealot. Uh, can attack now. I can do two damage to the top wolf. I think that's exactly what I do. But I do have a focus 
which can make him do 4 damage to something. But the Great Wolf has 5, so I don't think I'm going to use it. If the Great Wolf had 4 health, I would definitely try to kill it right now. But speaking of the growth deck, I'm going to have like a normal growth deck with like rallies and like stag hearts. But, oh, I had the Kabonk, now I can take down that Great Wolf. Forgot about that. That was good. I also have a redesign now, but I'm not sure if there's anything I should redesign here. Because, yeah, his guys would just get stronger because the wolves have more health. By the way, sorry that um, the control trick is not pressed in this game. This is, I promise this is the last game that I don't do the control thingy. So, if you don't know what that is, it's like, if you click control, then all the health of everything and attack gets shown up on the board at once and just stays like that so the viewers can see what's going on easier. So now I was able to take out that wolf, and I'm really looking good. When this challenge started, he had all those wolves. He only has two of those wolves le left. And I have I have the same amount of units as him. So now I got a decimation and a redesign. I think I'm going to sack the redesign because there's nothing I could really redesign. There's no use for it right now. So this is... So th for this, this challenge, this trial, worked well with a... With a um, multicolored deck, with a um, order and energy, because you started with five of each, but it's very it doesn't it's not very good like online and stuff, because you start with zero order and zero like energy, so it's just it takes too long and it's too much sacrifice and you don't have enough cards to build up both um, both colors, so I think I'm gonna for now I'm just going to keep using solo order, and then when I have enough for uh, growth I'll do that too. Another thing with growth what's cool is um the the uh, bunnies. <laughs> I want to try a, a bunny deck of like three bunnies. Get the whole board going and then rally with like a uh, rally and whatever that card is that makes the attack go up for that turn for all the units. Surprised more people don't do that. Alright so let's see I, I guess I'm gonna just play some more units now. So my zealot is ready to go. I'm not sure what I did with the zealot here. Royal Spearman, which has the spiky ability, so if if um, a wolf with two or less health attacks it, it will die. So that's good. I'm playing some more powerful units. And there's nothing really this guy can do right now because I, I'm still taking out his wolves, like that. And he, so he's not gonna be able to like play great great wolf or anything. Doing a little bit of idle damage, but I don't really care. Now I got a kabonk and a faith blessing, so I'll sack the faith blessing for cards. I got a crown of strength and copper automaton. So I'm going to go with 3 damage on his Mangy Wolf. I'm not sure, is it Mangy or Mangy? I think it's Mangy. So I have I could play Crown of Strength. I'll use it on my big guy. And a Kabonk. I think I'm just going to use it on that top wolf over there. And then now I could play a, another Royal Spearman. I think I'll play it up there. Up, up top like second second highest row and I have a copper automaton so I could do dr deal direct four damage in one turn very very good card so I'm assuming I'm gonna play this yeah there that's what I was guessing so now my board's looking really good he has one little wolf with one health right now up there he, he just plays Mangy, but it doesn't really matter because that just used all of his resources for the turn. That's it. So, the, really, the game's kind of over right now. I'm trying to just end it as fast as possible. So, let's see. Five, five damage. And just what the Honor of Donor does, it's very powerful when it's with adjacent units. So, five damage plus three damage plus three damage destroys that. Goes for eleven. So I think I'm going to keep that. And 4 damage to destroy 
to uh, destroy um I think I don't think I'm gonna waste four damage on that one little wolf. I think I'm gonna move him up to do a little bit more damage. And I'll move that spearman down so it does six damage. Yeah. And then I have a crossbowman, but I'm just gonna sack it for cards. And I got plating and an obelisk. So I think I'm just gonna use plating on my uh yeah, my um my big guy. And an obelisk. Just there just to protect a little bit. Don't really need it. So now I'm able to destroy an idol and lower one to very low health. So things are looking good. He plays a very powerful kinfolk veteran just to take down my obelisk though. And now I got a dust runner, sack it for cards. I have two damage. Um, I have two attack on my um, spearman. I think I can just use him to kill that wolf right there. And I could play two, uh, two skirmishers. So I'll just play them. Just space them out. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna move. Huh, I didn't, I didn't move that spearman down. It's interesting. Why didn't I move the spearman down to kill that wolf? Whatever. Yeah, see now he was able to kill that. Whatever, a little misplay there. Can an automaton and then blessing and pace and a crosswoman. So this I played this game a, a little bit while back. I hope I don't use a blessing and paste on my uh on my um on my uh general. Because as you know, that'd be a waste of a move. Because if he if he um if I don't do it next turn, the units around him are gonna be able to attack. That's his ability. And if I use blessing haste now, it won't happen next turn. So I better not use it on that guy. Come on, just use it on the top. Use it on uh that spearman up there. A little bit of lag. Be it, like if I don't do anything right now. Oh no. Wow, <laughs> I did it. Whatever. It helped the crossbowman a little bit. So now I'll go four there. I'll do five damage to kill that guy with four health. Destroy the mangy wolf and hurt the idol. So now things are definitely looking good. I just have to destroy one more idol and I have tons of units on the board. If I want, I can just try to finish off that bottom idol, but I have options up there on top too. He decides to play a great wolf and a sister. And I have people attacking up top, so I can just do more idle damage. I think I'm just going to do 6 damage to the center idle. Proximity charge. It's a pretty good card. So I think I'm going to play that right next to my general. And then it will spawn one adjacent to it, so hopefully it spawns one up. Just played a, uh... A, um... Zealot, just for a unit to play. Now I think I'm going to play the proximity charge right in between the um, general and the spearman. So it, would, it automatically fills the other, the other spot there. So if they both attack... So the only way this guy can keep... This guy's a lot, yeah, he has to move them. But those guys are going to get hurt also by uh, hitting that... Um, Spearman BC is spiky. Okay. So, am I able to win yet? No, I'm not. He's very low, though. Actually, no, I think I can win. I think if I put focus on one... Yeah, if I put focus on um one of those guys, I win. Because... Yeah. That's 6 plus 3 is just enough. Yeah, that's so one. Yep, gives me one extra damage. That's it. He's of the relentless ability. He gets to keep attacking. So I got a nice win there. So once again, this would be the last time I'll be using this crappy, uh, crappy deck. So thanks for watching, everybody. I got a nice gold, gold total. So 
please like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more scrolls videos or you like my channel, and I'll see you next time.